I'm Steve Torano with Ask a Real Expert. This video is going out to 910 Wesley and it's about the afterburn. I'm sure we've all heard lots of misinformation about the afterburn effects of exercise. Like most concepts around weight loss and bodybuilding, it's blown way out of proportion and it's not understood very well. We've all heard that when you do exercise in the morning, it elevates the metabolism all day long. That's such bullshit I can't even begin to tell you. When you do cardio, and you do cardio that's relatively intense, there is a short period afterwards where your metabolism is elevated a, a little bit. You typically will notice this when you come inside and you try to cool off and you can't. You can't cool down. You still seem to be hot. You're like, man, I could go jump in the shower, but I'm still sweating. That is typically the afterburn period. It doesn't last all day. It might last 10 to 15 minutes after your workout, depending on how big you are, how hard you worked out, what kind of shape you're in, things of that nature. During this time, your body's helping to break down some additional fats, trying to help replace some of the ATP, breaking down sugars, things like that. But it does not last all day long, okay? That's a misunderstanding. When you work out with weights, you have less of an afterburn effect because you're not aerobic. Basically, your, your primary source of energy is creatine, phosphate, and ATP when you exercise. So you don't get that huge afterburn effect. But you do get some residual effects in the form of repairing muscles, especially if you've worked out intensely. That's why I said in a couple videos before, if you exercise with tremendous intensity, you do utilize a certain amount of calories helping repair those muscles. But the concept of having an elevated metabolism all day long is such horseshit. I mean, you're sitting there, you calm down, you relax, your heart rate begins to slow, and your breathing returns to normal. You're back to normal. That's not an elevated metabolism. So again, regardless of when you exercise, it doesn't make a darn bit of difference. It doesn't elevate your metabolism significantly and you don't get this long afterburn effect. That's an old myth. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart, train hard.